Hello? Hello? Hey. Welcome to Life with the Warning. Guys, let's get into it because today it's going to be a very, very important question that everybody's asking us, specifically us, because we have the answers to every question in the universe. Actually, so. In the universe, yes. And the question we're going to be answering today is can people wait no how did i write it down can you stay friends with your ex with an ex do you want an answer now or i guess yeah we could just say i think actually you can't really answer that just like with yes or no (laughs) you really can't um but today's gonna be one of these like topics where it's just like one specific topic because i feel like we always talk about so many different things in one episode that it just doesn't make sense and it's like everywhere it's like all over the place and so basically for this episode i kind of i found like stories online about their experiences of them being in a relationship and then also i posted on my instagram story which if you don't know, actually first of all i want you to know that you can watch this episode on youtube it's in the channel life with no warning podcast if you want to watch it and then second of all in my instagram Wait, you should also give an update. We have a lot of updates. First of all, Isabella got a new phone. I feel like that's just so, like, random, no? I dyed I my hair. Phone. I dyed my hair again. <laughs> and guess what? I'm ha- I'm gonna get an iPad, too. <laughs> and I got accepted into a new school. Hey! <laughs> Exciting! <laughs> that's it, no? No, I think so. That's... I've also had the urge to cut my hair, but what's new? <laughs> what's new? Literally. I don't know. My sister told me, my older sister, she was like, yeah, the reason why you want to cut your hair is because you have no goal in your life. And the only way of getting a little bit of serotonin is by you cutting your hair. She's, Which makes she's absolutely... not wrong. <laughs> like, an absolute sense. Like that. And then I thought about it, I was like, Wait okay, a minute. Okay, but that was literally her, though. Why is she calling you out like that? Because she doesn't, I think the only reason why she is like a little bit more mentally stable is because she actually goes to a hairdresser and I do it by oh. myself. Because <laughs> she has money and I don't. Also, Isabella dyed my hair, but. You don't have to talk about it. It's so like. Like what? I'm trying to find a word. I had to. Do the... it amazing? No, 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 no. Like it's so, it looks disheveled. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> Why would really? No, it doesn't even look that bad. Girl, look at this. I feel like only you can see that because I haven't. My mama literally saw it. She was like, "Oh, your ends are oh. like yellow, and the rest of it is like red brown." And I'm like, oh. "But yeah, as I said before, we're gonna be talking about this specific question, but also like, can people just be friends with the opposite sex?" <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> can people just be friends with the opposite sex? Can we? I feel like yes. So I think I just want to say like usually when I become friends with a guy, the guy just has to give off feminine vibes. Like they don't have to be gay. They just have to have some sort of feminine, fe- feminine, feminine nominum aura. Feminine <laughs> <laughs> Ew. I can't even say that. A feminine aura. Yeah, feminine aura. I don't. Men scare me. Period. That's why I have to have some sort. Like, if I'm your friend and I and you're a guy, you have to have some sort of like female vibe. I don't know. Not for me. I don't think so. <laughs> that's it. That's all. I have. <laughs> that's all you have to say. But do you have like a lot of guy friends in your life? Oh, right now, no. I mean, but just in general, like in your. Yeah, you've had a lot of guy friends. Yeah, I've had a lot of guy friends. Wait. Yeah, because she's such a pick-me girl. Girl, what? No, I was just likable. Well, I think most of my guy friends actually ended up having crushes on me. That's what I'm telling you. (laughs) But, 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 let me finish my sentence. My guy friends here have it. And trust me when I tell you, oh, trust me when I tell you none of the guys here have like a feminine touch to them at all none of them but like i'm telling you come on un ejemplo like yeah. he has no female vibe but when you talk to him he has like a soft little tone to him and like 
He's very like he likes to listen a lot. He makes it obvious that he wants to listen. I think that's like a difference because when a normal guy talks to me, like he just comes off very aggressive, and I'm just like, oh, okay, no, yeah, I get it, I get it. Yeah, why yeah. are you talking to me like? It's that? like so just, unnecessary. I'm just yes. having a conversation with you. And besides, like all the guys that I've been friends with, they end up liking me, and they tell me that, and that just ruins the whole thing. <laughs> and that's why I cannot have a relationship, like a friendship with a guy. Can you tell a story of how one of them, like, confessed their love to you? But it's like, I don't even know. The reason why a lot of people hang out with me, like, okay. When a, when a girl is friends with a guy, usually they're not attracted to the guy at all. But usually guys are friends with girls that they find attractive. Not all the time. Sometimes. But uh, mo- every guy that I've been friends with have had like some sort of attraction towards me and then that's how we became friends but i was so like distant and like guys kind of like playing that game where like they can't get the girl so they stick with it they they play the waiting game yes also can i say something no okay so like okay so like guys will have girl friends friends that are girls and they will have crushes on them and then the, they'll, like, confess their love to them. And then the girl will be like, uh, no. Or they will have, like, a boyfriend. And then the guy friend's gonna be like, oh, that really sucks, whatever. They find a girlfriend. And then and then they just, like, keep on being best friends. And that's, I think that is why a lot of girlfriends feel, like, a, a certain, like, tension with the friend that is a girl. Because it's, like, so obvious that a guy cannot have a girlfriend and not like like her at least a little bit. Can I tell? I don't know if I should say this. What? Just but say it. Just say it. No, no, this. no. It's okay. I don't. No, no. I don't want to. No, you can't just say that. No. <laughs> it's gonna want to because what if the person is like watching this or hearing this? I don't think they're gonna be watching or listening. You never know. Just give like a few examples. Don't give so much information. Just say. Like... I just gave an example okay like what like i didn't really understand it that okay much. i just heard no. like 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 okay like, like the <laughs> 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 the example i just gave was like the guy having a, a guy a girlfriend that has a crush whatever and then him confessing the love to her and her being like no i have a boyfriend and then he gets a girlfriend that's kind of like what happened to me but i was never jealous of the girl best friend ever in fact i wanted to be her friend like No, yeah, but the thing is, like, in my case, um, when my ex-boyfriend started to have a girl best friend, I didn't really mind it, but the fact that I knew who he was as a person, like, he doesn't really just make friends because he wants friends. Like, that's not him. He is a lone wolf. Like, he will get something out of that person? Yeah, like, and especially women. Like, he doesn't just talk to a girl because he wants to be friends with them. Like, he talks to them because he wants to develop something else. So it's, like, also depends on the person and how you know th- how they act. Like, so, that's the thing. So he's, like, a womanizer, kind of? Not a womanizer, because he doesn't really, like, do He anything. gets zero bitches. Yeah, basically. For real, for sure, for sure. <laughs> for real. <laughs> but, like, he really thinks, like, no, whatever, I'm not gonna go into... <laughs> it's not... No, no, no. I but think- like, if I cur- sorry, but if I currently have a a guy who I'm talking to, and I find out that he has a best friend, like I don't really mind, and I wouldn't care because like I would also want to be friends with that person because we understand that <laughs> <laughs> we understand that the guy that I'm talking to he's fun and like yes, correct. Unless okay, when they have a girl best friend before knowing you, okay, it's fine because they've been friends for. A really long time before you even met him. Mm-hmm. But if he starts being best friends with a girl to the point where it's like y- the same time that you and him meet up or like are getting to know each other or after you guys are already together, get the fuck out of there. Run away, okay? <laughs> and also, if the girl best friend is like just there, like, doing nothing okay like they hang out and like they will text each other and be like okay whatever it's fine Mm -hmm. but if the bitch is really trying to like butt into the fucking relationship get the fuck out what are you doing that's also like i don't understand how there's some girls out there that actually understand what they're doing like they're breaking the relationship of someone else i will never understand that 
if I was a girl best friend of a guy and I saw that the girl, like his girlfriend or whatever, is like getting uncomfortable, I am gonna leave and like not leave, leave, but like distance myself because I understand that how that girl feels. Like I'm not doing anything, but like maybe I'm just too empathetic. Or maybe you're just a normal person that's really nice and you know? Yeah, you're just Some so people are right. just stupid, don't have like morals. Yes, they don't have morals. And they don't have thoughts. And in they their don't head. have thoughts and they don't really have self control at all. Literally. And that's just it it's to the point where you need to feel bad for that person because I'm so happy I'm not that type of person. I'm so happy that I'm not the type of person that will butt into somebody else's relationship knowing knowing there's a proper nice relationship. Like I would literally like also sorry but also k-word myself honestly i think another question that we started off was can you stay friends with an ex if they did something really bad in the relationship i don't think it's possible no yeah no. or like maybe it's mm. no I, it really depends on like if the way that the relationship ended really just sets a tone of like the, yeah like being able to be friends or not yeah I don't know because it's like if you had a really good friendship in the relationship, it's kind of difficult to not hate that person. But at the same time, it's so easy to hate the person because of what they did. Do you know what I mean? No, I think the reason why a lot of like usually even me after my breakup, after all the things that he did to me. I just like. Every bad thing that he ever did to me just left the chat. Like, it left no <laughs> recollection of anything bad he's ever done to me. Like, I literally have to listen to old podcast episodes to understand what he did to me. Because right now, if you ask me, what did he do to you? I'm I'm going to be like, I don't remember anything. It's, okay, And on. so I told myself, no, like, I could definitely be friends after, like with him again. Like, it's like nothing happened. We just broke up, but I feel like we can definitely be friends. But no, he did so many things, so many wrong things. I just like, it would be hurting myself to go back and becoming friends with this person. Yeah. I remember when I was still in my, in my relationship with my ex, I had this like random moment where I was like, if we ever break up, would you like to be still friends? And he was like, no. I was like, oh, oh damn. Oh. <laughs> why and i actually got offended like i i think it almost became a fight <laughs> i was like what the fuck do you mean you don't want to be friends with me like why would you not want to be friends with me literally what do you mean and he was like no like why would i want to be your friend like that's just like the worst thing ever after a breakup and i was like okay fuck you then and he was like no <laughs> like you don't get it like i couldn't i can't i can only see you in a romantic way because we've been involved in a romantic relationship like it's just how it is and i was like and you know wait i still have more i'm gonna forget okay go on <laughs> i was just gonna i, I completely forgot okay whatever my no wait, wait, wait. <laughs> i think it really depends on how you meet this person like if you meet them and become friends first uh -huh. then be in a relationship and that relationship ends really badly i feel like maybe since you understand how your friendship is with like no romantic feelings ever maybe you can become friends you see but if you're like, you meet and you fully just become it in a relationship, I understand why he said that because he doesn't understand how yeah. to be friends with you yeah. in a platonic way. I understood that after. I understood that after because I heard so many people say like, I'm so happy I was like best friends with my boyfriend before we actually became like a relation, like a, what's it called? In a relationship? In a relationship, whatever. And I was like, uh, what the fuck? But literally, like, I'm not even kidding. In my mind, we started dating since day one. Day yeah. one. Because it, it, it just, it was. Like, I don't know how to explain it. No, it does. It makes sense. It what, really does. And then, after the breakup, I was like, when I'm alone, I'm like, fuck you. Go die. I don't like you. Whatever. But then when you see the person in real life, I'm like, maybe it was just, <laughs> maybe it was just a mistake though. Like, maybe it was just like, having like a he's little... a good person, but he made a mistake. But then in my head, I'm like, I'm having a conf like conflict because I will be hanging. I would be like hanging out with this guy after the breakup. Okay. We had like a phase where it was just kind of like talking and figuring out whatever. And like, we would literally be hanging out like 
face to face, okay? I'd be laughing and be like, oh my god, shut up. You remind yourself Kill that you're yourself. talking to. Yes, I'm like, why am I freaker. laughing to this guy right now? He's not funny. He doesn't deserve that. He doesn't deserve, he doesn't deserve to deserve hear my, my laugh. laugh. <laughs> and he doesn't deserve to be in my presence, okay? And then I'm just like, okay, what is wrong with me? And he would literally like notice him and be like, what is wrong with you? I'm like, <laughs> so like girl, shut the fuck up. And then, like, it's just like those moments where you need to like remind yourself of all the, like, the thing that he did. And it's like, what are you doing? And I had such a big conflict with myself because I was like, what is it? Like, I should have self-respect for myself. That's why Don't you get need back with him no whatever. contact. Exactly. Like zero contact because that will help you yes. understand. You're going to, like, have periods, a period in your life where you're, like, sitting down. And you're like, okay, this person did this, 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 this. Why am I thinking that I want to be back with this person or, like, be friends with this person? Like, sitting in silence will help you. Even though it hurts like a mother figure in the <laughs> See, beginning, it's gonna save your life. I think out of sight, out of sight, out of mind is the most realest thing I've ever heard in my life. And then also, like, I think that I I will I would one hundred percent encourage other people, other girls to talk to different people when you're at when you're like done with the first relationship because this was my first boyfriend, right? And, like, I had never, like, talked to anybody else. I'd never had a relationship ever, right? And then I just, like, met a bunch of new people. And it was so, like, fun finding people to connect with and, like, talking to them. And, like, I don't know. It's just fun. It's ha- And <laughs> what the fuck? And I saw this TikTok the other day. Literally, I think it was yesterday. And it was, like, the phases of, like, girls after. Or, like, the phases, whatever. Yeah. No? And it was basically, and it was basically, like, the phase of, like, not ever having a relationship, then having your first relationship, and then being over that relationship, and then having fucking roster, and, and literally, like, having thousands of different options, and being like, okay, well, now I have my top three, and then you're gonna talk to this guy, this guy, this guy, hang out with this guy, then, then hang out with this guy the other day, and then whatever, And then you'll have the phase of like, girl boss, and you're just going to be alone because you don't want to have and you don't want to talk to anybody. And then and then you'll be like, maybe I do want a relationship. I think I'm in the roster era. Oh my God. (laughs) Yes, you are. Yes, you are. And I miss, I miss when you like, when you fully break up with someone in like six months past and then you're just like, what am I doing sitting here not doing anything with my life? Like. I'm young. I have the opportunity to just talk to people. <laughs> Let me go full force. You just do so many things. I love, like, I miss going out with my friends almost every weekend, even during the week. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like the best thing ever. And then I just had like a moment where I just, just where I had to just like sit down because I was like mentally tired of just like having to talk to so many yeah. people. I'm just like, okay. And then I think I'm in like the last, the last. I don't Part. know. I don't know. I feel like I feel like um what was I gonna say? Oh, I feel like this summer I've been really trying to put myself out there. <laughs> I've been really trying to put myself out there because I genuinely okay, I'm gonna sound really stupid. No, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna say it. Bruh. <laughs> I'm like bruh. I'm not gonna say it. But all I'm really happy because I think I've like officially, officially like been done with this one person yeah with this one person because like he this person like texted me in the beginning of summer and i was like i will not be doing this again because it's kind of like we would like we would be like no contact and then we would contact again because we had like this concert that we needed to go to together because we needed to go together obviously and then we would stop talking and then we would talk again and then we would stop and it was like girl this is so fucking tiring do you know what I mean? Yeah, it gets exhausting. It's really, really annoying. Yeah, and so I was like, okay, well, I'm done. I'm good as fuck. No, I don't. I totally get it. Except, I don't know. Like, luckily for me, the moment I broke up, I left the country. You're so lucky for that. So I wasn't. Well, I did. I did get like I. Okay, you know that moment when you break up with a person and you see that person after the breakup. Uh huh. You your heart like drops and uh-huh. you're just like, oh my god, like this person is there. He can talk to anybody he wants. 
and like just is flirting with so many girls whatever basically that happened to me we broke up like a week ago and then i went to like this thing um like this thrift store thing event and so i went and then i saw him there with his girl best friend the one that he was like pursuing in the relationship as well so like that shit hurt me but at the same time i didn't have to like go through it like i the relationship kind of ended the minute I left. Like, no contact, no nothing. Like, I was so, so done. And that really, like... <laughs> um, a little advice. If you want to forget your ex, just fly to a def- different country. Move like, to a different country, actually. And... Different continent. Super easy. Um, anybody can do that. Because everybody has the money for that. And, yeah. Me, I wanted that to happen to me so bad. Like, because I was planning on moving to a different country to study university and i was like this is gonna be my moment i'm finally gonna break free and like whatever girl that never happened i'm still here but i think that makes more sense to me do you know what i mean because for me for me i think because we grew up moving so much i'm like oh the place sucks like i want to move and then we'll move and it's like a fresh start you're like i love this place and then it's just like the cycle again and again and again Mm -hmm. but i think that with this i'm like learning to like chill for a sec exactly (laughs) okay um moving along how long do you think that you should wait to become friends with your ex if you even want to i think when you're officially done actually like no feelings involved yeah like not even like hatred Nothing. nothing nothing indifference literally like you're not even thinking about them during the day or whatever or like just uh-huh just zero uh-huh nothing because like if you have if you still have feelings like no like why put yourself to do that because you understand that it's gonna be worse okay it's but gonna be breaking up breaking up breaking up but then also if you have indifference i don't think it's like you want to pursue having a friendship with yes, that person exactly. because it's indifference like you don't give a fuck you're like okay like yeah. do you know what That's i mean true. <laughs> so like maybe don't <laughs> i don't know like i don't think that would be like a good idea yeah it's like exhausting you're like why do i want to like breathe the same air as this person uh-huh. like, like if I'm you done. if you if you like if you like see them at a party or like some event or something like that, be like hey how are you whatever but like that's it i don't think i would like really like put in effort to be like talking to this person at all times and try to be friends i'd be like oh it was nice talking to you i'm gonna go no yeah so i I just think it's like no feelings Mm -hmm. i mean if you don't have feelings for this person and you still want to have like a connection with them for some reason then go for it but like i wouldn't put myself through that (laughs) like no thank you um but also i wanted to talk about like a few examples of like people that are still friends and they used to date example number one i think the only the most obvious one (laughs) jake and tara like (laughs) But no, but that's because weren't they? No, they weren't friends. But no, they, they like immediately started dating. dating. Yeah, basically. Okay, but also like, mm, well, no, from our perspective, nothing really happened in their relationship. Like they just wanted to grow Apart, separately. Yeah. I I don't know. I just feel like, I know Tara. She's like very comfortable with Jake. I think I saw like this TikTok of this person saying like, Tara is a little bit too like, not overprotective, but like she still wants people to know that jake like her and jake were a thing Mm -hmm. i think there was a video of them in a live stream where um tara was told jake like hey like why don't you get a tattoo of my initial or something Uh. i know it was a joke i get it but like like little comments like that i think i i don't know i just i wouldn't i wouldn't stay and like him buying her a car too like that's that was crazy. crazy. That was crazy. Like, imagine just being in a relationship with someone and then that person buys their ex a new car. I'm good. I'm really good. <laughs> <laughs> I don't I don't know. I don't know how I would react. But in, like, right now, how I'm thinking is, like, a no. Like, you know what? If you're buying her a car, just, like, see ya. But that also sounds, like, very petty. Like, it just doesn't matter. It's just a car. But I don't know. I I, I wouldn't be able to, like, survive that thing no that situation is crazy like for my mental health too like that would destroy it i don't know if i had a boyfriend right now and i found out that he bought his ex-girlfriend a car i'd be like why i'm so confused but then i'd be like 
I would leave, honestly, because... Okay, I'm, I swear to God, like, if I ever enter a relationship, like, any time now, and I see, like, one thing that annoys the fuck out of me, and I'm like, that is the most annoying shit I've ever seen in my life. I'm leaving. Bye. I'm literally leaving. I'd rather protect myself than ever feeling the, the feeling of heartbreak ever again. Like, I... Oh, my God. So you're telling me, would you just... Would you like to be in a situation ship? No. So just like zero. Romantic. I was literally, I was literally in. I don't even know what the fuck it was. I don't know what it was. And I, 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 As it was. I am so good. Like I am so good. I don't ever want to feel anything close to a situation ship. Honestly, this is going to sound so <laughs> bad. It's going to sound so bad. I would rather be in a situation ship. I don't want to be in a relationship relationship. Guys. That, that's like, this is the point that I am in my life right now. I don't want to make anything official with anyone. In a you really are the problem in this generation. No, but I think... <laughs> No. I, truly, I truly think like if you meet someone who has the same mindset as you then you're not hurting anybody but if i'm like going into something like i'm talking to this person and this person says i want to be in a relationship i want to commit like fully commit to someone definitely i'm not gonna be like yeah like me too me too no i'm gonna say like you know what i'm not mentally ready for a relationship like i would rather just talk to someone to have fun period right but like that's why like the person that i'm talking to right now like i think you're saying this now because i don't have full i think for this person okay no and like no no but let me just give you an example every time i feel like every time you make something like put a label on something that shit ruins the whole thing i was perfectly like the minute someone puts a label on a relationship thing I go absolutely crazy. I start being like, okay, what about this girl best friend? What about not? Because I am insecure with myself. But like just one little label makes me go crazy. Makes me go insane. So I think just labeling as nothing, not even situationship, that makes me feel better about myself. And like if I see him talking to someone else, I'm like, well, we're not anything. So like it doesn't really matter. That's case closed. I think I think you just want that because you have like a, what's it called? anxious attachment style no 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 the mixed one. Oh, um anxious and detached yes no for sure yeah because I, I i swear to god i had never seen a person <laughs> with that much intensity oh of like being anxious but also like being Not so <laughs> detached like she will literally text somebody and be like oh my god he hasn't texted me in 10 minutes he literally wants me to die and i will never text him again like i don't want a boyfriend actually in fact i will go and talk to this other guy that i'm really interested in what <laughs> hey what what are you saying <laughs> no and i also t- i gaslight like not gaslight myself but like i talk to this person i'm like oh my god this person is amazing he's beautiful blah 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 like we, we have really good conversations and then i'm like no, wait a minute. I don't like the way that he talks. I don't like the way that he moves. Can I don't I say, like about Can I say something else? This. Yeah. We never liked, we as in the family, never liked her first boyfriend because he was so suspicious. The second she started talking about this guy. So nobody liked him, right? Thank God. But then she started talking about this other guy. And it was literally just like nice things after nice things after nice things. And I was like, oh my God, this guy sounds perfect for you okay Mm -hmm. and then she will say the most like annoying like okay this probably sounds really mean but like from in my head it sounds really annoying when you're like maybe maybe i should just not (laughs) i was like what do you mean this guy sounds perfect and you're just gonna let it go because you don't like the way he walks (laughs) like get a grip dude Everything else is so... Per- and that's not even realistic because he literally does runway, like, modeling. What the fuck? <laughs> no, because I'm trying to convince myself to not like this person. Girl, grow, grow up. Just... I <laughs> just need to go to therapy. That's yes, what I need to do. like... Oh, my God. This is like... No, this is so embarrassing. Does he listen to your podcast? No, I don't okay, know. Good. Oh. Maybe he does. I don't... I don't care. No, I do care, but like. Okay, but but then I just like exposed you. 
honestly, at this point, I don't care anymore. Also, something else I want to say is we are really good people. Like, see you know. <laughs> what do you mean? We are such good people. The amount of negativity that we've, we've been surrounded by and we are strong enough to not be <laughs> uh-huh. like them is insane. The willpower we have is crazy. Z and I'm so happy for that. You're so right. Like I'm so happy that I'm not like one of those people that will get cheated on and be like, I'm gonna fucking cheat on the next person so then they feel what I felt. Well, no, that is what so bad in so about? many ways. That's crazy to think like that. <laughs> like, why would you want to hurt somebody else and make them feel what you felt? That is the most absurd like mentality I've ever heard. They really need to go talk about that with someone else like a therapist maybe and the amount of times that i've wanted to do like revenge on so many people in my life like friendships or relationships i'm like wait but like i shouldn't though i'm a good person (laughs) like like i it is crazy the plans i had in my head like i would even tell them like i even told my ex-boyfriend the plans i was gonna do oh my god and i had a plan for him too i just never told him so what plan what type of plan? revenge plan no i do i do understand that because i thought the same way because it's like i think about all the things that this person did to me and i'm like oh my god so like i was so nice to them and they get to do all that and i don't get to do anything back like that's crazy i'm sorry like, like that concept is crazy like why can't i not hurt you back but then again it's like a it's like a youth like it's a you choose like yeah either you do it or you don't and i chose not to so yeah i chose and peace. it speaks volumes like it speaks how mature <laughs> you are so yeah also i do want i want to recommend like if you're going through a breakup or just like healing through one please like watch sex in the city what? i i swear to god they help you guys that's a lie i healed without sex in the city so you're good i didn't i didn't watch it before either but my friend, my friend, she was going through a breakup and she said, I literally watched Sex in the City and that shit helped me get through it. And now that I'm watching it, it really does. Because they, they give you examples of like, like stuff that could happen in a relationship, like what you can do with it, blah, blah, blah. Like don't sleep with the guy on the first date, whatever, because then you just become an object, whatever. Like stuff like that. And yeah. also like friendship stuff and breakup stuff. Right. So I'm watching it. And it's really good. I think that's all, like, the little, like... That was all for our debate today. Thank you so much for coming in. I don't think it was even a debate. It was just... An essay. Us agreeing with each other. Just Literally. like girly pups agreeing with... What? I can't talk, money. No, but what did you say? Just girly pops being girly pops. Oh. Media of the week, shall we? Hmm. What, are, what am I even listening to? Wait a minute. Okay, wait, let me pull up my little, my little, uh... This is the guy I was talking about yesterday when we were watching the Austin Mahone music video. Oh, yeah. Money. Copyright, 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 copyright. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say my songs, okay? Okay. So number one is Heavy by the Marias. Mm-mm. Sexy to Someone by Claro. Sexy. I Could Be a Florist by Olivia Dean. Song I really want. Uh, Magic Dance by David Bowie. Not me literally picking my nose. <laughs> and then Welcome to My Island by Carolyn Pol- Polachek. This song. Yo, that's so crazy. Do you know why? Why? Because Welcome to My Island, but the Charlie XCX and George <laughs> remix is mine. Oh my god, that's great thing. No, it is. Okay, it is, it is. And then, I think that's... Wait, no, I think that's it. I'm honestly, loves. Honestly, I think that's it. Um, is yeah. that it? Okay. For me... For me, I have Run Around by Selena Gomez. <laughs> of course. Round and round. Then we have The Way Things Are by Fiona Apple. Then we have Dream Police by Mick G. Then Welcome to My Island, the remix that I just said. Welcome. Alice by Jeff. Jeff? 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 Girl, I don't know. J E V. Love to Love You Baby by Donna Summer. 
I feel like you should have talked to the microphone like that the whole time. You you feel like what? You were like this the whole time. My bad. The echo's gonna be crazy. It's guy I don't like talking to this microphone. My posture will get like this. Give it a kiss. <laughs> um, that's yeah, it actually. You're so funny. You crack me up. <laughs> I'm fucking crazy. Go on. You're fucking crazy. Yeah, I can. I can throw bars <laughs> for sure. Bars. What the? Fuck? I can never. Pull, I can never pull a good joke. Like I need a. <laughs> You always fail my, them my so brain, bad. My brain fogs up because I'm trying so hard to be funny and then it just... It goes like that. Can you not harass my my friends, please? No. <laughs> Guys, I'm absolutely sorry ¿Cómo es que se ríe el nono? <laughs> That's how my grandpa laughs. You know way. what that reminds me of? Uh, the cry from Sarah Paulson. <laughs> <laughs> Please. <laughs> how how is it? The, the killer. The killer's escaping. He's escaping. <laughs> the killer's escaping. Oh my god, that bitch was so annoying in that part. I wanted to rip her <laughs> hair out. <laughs> <laughs> so good, so good. I love her so much. Okay. Okay. End I think it. that's it. Oh my. End you it. Wanna end? You want to end my life? I should just end it? Should I send it? Hey! <laughs> Girl, I'm... <laughs> end it! Ay! You have to come here and kiss them. Guys, thank you so much Wrap for listening. Thank you so much for listening. You can listen to us talk about so many things every Monday. Every single Monday on any platform. Um, you can go watch this on YouTube. It's called Life With No Warning. The link is going to be down below. Also, our Instagram, which is Life With No Warning Podcast. My Instagram, which is isa.yorio. J-O-R-I-O. Monique? I'm not going to do it. <sighs> She's trying to be so mysterious so bad. Um, but thank you so much for watching. Love you, love you lots. And we're going to be a little goodbye kiss. Are you ready? One, two, three. Mwah! Ciao. Bye. <laughs> Ew, bye.